Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today we're going to discuss a vaccine that I think will gain approval for use in the United States at the end of August. It's the Novavax vaccine, and it uses different technology than the mRNA vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna, or the viral vector vaccines from Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca. Novavax is a Maryland-based biotechnology firm that began a phase three trial of its vaccine in the United Kingdom in September, and a second phase three trial in the United States and Mexico in December. These two trials enrolled a combined total of almost 45,000 participants. And recently, the company announced that the vaccine is 90.4% effective in preventing symptomatic COVID-19 which means that it was 96% effective against the original COVID strain, 86% effective against the UK variant, also known as the Alpha strain, but only 60% effective against the South African strain, also known as the Beta variant. We don't have data on the effectiveness against the Delta variant. One interesting group they made note of was the quote, high risk populations, which were defined as over age 65, under age 65, but with certain comorbidities, or having life circumstances with frequent COVID-19 exposure. And when the vaccine was given to these people, it was reported to be 91% effective. And in the end, the vaccine was shown to be 100% effective at preventing moderate and severe disease among almost 30,000 trial participants ages 18 and older in the United States and Mexico. So how does this vaccine work? It actually uses protein subunit technology that's already been used in the past and that has a track record for safety. Currently, some of the forms of the annual influenza vaccines and the HPV vaccine or the vaccine to prevent cervical cancer uses a similar technology and has been around since 2006 with a great safety record. Furthermore, the hepatitis B vaccine licensed in 1986 and given to newborn babies on their first day of life also uses this technology. To create their COVID-19 vaccine, Novavax developers made their own version of the spike protein that's found on the surface of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. And once that was done, they inserted the protein into a different virus called a baculovirus and allowed it to infect moth cells. The infected cells produced spike proteins similar to the ones seen on SARS-CoV-2. The researchers harvested the spike proteins from the moth cells and combined them with an adjuvant, which helps to stimulate a strong protective immune response. The adjuvant they decided to use was a purified plant compound from the soap bark tree. The spike proteins and adjuvant combination is then injected into the muscles of the arm. Antibodies are produced by a person's immune system, so the next time that it sees spike proteins from the SARS-CoV-2 virus, it will produce a strong immune response immediately to prevent infection and progression to COVID-19 symptoms. This Novavax COVID-19 vaccine requires two doses 21 days apart. The most common side effects, according to Novavax, were the common ones we've heard about before, such as injection site pain and tenderness, fatigue, headache, and muscle pain. Injection site pain lasted less than three days and fatigue, headaches, or muscle pain lasted less than two days in the trials. And we're getting a hint of what's possibly to come because Novavax just released data on a small subset of their phase three trial that included co-administration of an influenza vaccine and their COVID-19 vaccine. These shots were given separately, but at the same time, and I think this may be the wave of the future as we start to possibly need COVID-19 boosters. And I think it would be great if this could be combined into one annual shot along with the influenza vaccine. The results from this small subset were encouraging and found that the influenza vaccine responded just as effectively as when it's given alone. But there did seem to be a small difference in the effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccine. When people were given only the Novavax COVID-19 vaccine, it was 89.8% effective. But when it was given in combination with a seasonal influenza vaccine, it was 87.5% effective. Furthermore, the side effects, including things like fatigue and arm soreness, seem to occur about 10% more often, which would make sense since you're getting two vaccines instead of one. I think more information and studies about combining the COVID-19 vaccine 
with other vaccines will come in the future. And at the end of the day, I do think there may be some people that are concerned about the new technology that's being used with the mRNA vaccines, but may feel more comfortable with this protein-based vaccine. I hope this is the case. But as I continue to say, the best vaccine for you is the one that you're willing to take. Thanks for joining me.